Hey guys, Nathan here. Today I'm going to show you some square one walkthrough solves. Um, I have some scrambles printed out here. They're standard competition style scrambles. Um, and in this video, I'm not going to show you the algorithms I do. Um, well, I'll show you. I just won't go through them slowly. I'm just going to mainly focus on my thought process and what I see first and what I would do in certain situations. Okay, so in this first scramble, I see that I have these two paired up right there. And if I slice, I can attach it to that one just like that. So now I have those three. Then I can adjust it again so that that edge piece pairs with those. So now I have four together. And now I'm going to focus on getting these two adjacent paired with these two adjacent to make a kite shape. And this is just a standard cube shape algorithm, just three slices, really easy. Um, so now I have these two for corner orientation. Um, so if I orient them like this and slice, I get two bars, two sets of bars. And yellow is my top color, so I'm going to move the yellow so that when I slice it pairs the yellow corners up. Um, so next I see that I have these two edges unsolved for edge orientation, so hold them like that and do my algorithm. Um, now I see for this I have no parity for the CP because the top is just standard H perm and the bottom is a J perm, um, so they're both standard 3x3 three three algs and so, or 3x3 three three cases rather, and so I know I don't have parity. Um, and this is an, an interesting kind of thing. On the bottom I could just do the, the standard uh, edge flipper thing and that would leave me with a U-perm but if I undid that uh, there we go if I if I went back to that and I uh, offset this by one instead of having that as my first slice have that as my first slice I could preserve both of these blocks and now my bottom is solved with no U-perm and on the top I just have an H-perm Alright, for the second one, this is a pretty dreaded case for most people, but it's actually really fast, I think. Um, if you know the optimal ALG. Uh, I'll put that down in the description just because it's not one that most people know, I don't think. Um, so now that that's done, I have my two unsolved corners for core orientation, and these are already oriented, so I can just slice and make the two bars and put the yellow on top again. Um, now I have these two unsolved and these two unsolved and so I will uh, do the algorithm to solve those um, so now I see on the top I have uh, kinda looks like a J-perm but these two edges are switched and so I know that that has parity on top but on the bottom it's just two adjacent corners so that's parity as well and so if both layers have parity then you don't have to do a parity algorithm because you'll just have like a adjacent adjacent or opposite opposite switch and so now um, these two need to switch and these two need to switch and this is nicely set up so that when I slice it'll preserve these two blocks anyway so when I do my algorithm I end up with those blocks preserved and now I just have adjacent adjacent needed to switch and then AUF um, for this one it's another case that most people don't like it's the shield kite um, and I think this one's pretty easy too, and I'll also put this one down in the description. Um, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's only five slices, so it's really nice. So now I have this with my yellow bar on top, and then the, um, there's no bar on the bottom, they're the opposite. Um, so for this, you just hold the bars so you slice, you don't slice through the bars, you keep them intact. And then it's like this, and then this brings us to that same case with the two corners, and you make two bars and pair up the yellow bars like that. Um, now I see I have this unsolved and that unsolved, so I hold them like that and do the algorithm. Um, okay, now for this I see that uh, on the bottom it's an opposite switch and on the top it's an A-perm. Um, so I know I have parity and so I'll do my CP parity algorithm. Like that. Um, now I have an adjacent switch on top, and so I'll just do an adjacent adjacent switch, and that solves those two. But now on the bottom I have the Z perm, um, so I'll just do the algorithm. And now uh, for this, instead of if I, well, I have this that needs to be flipped around, and if I did the standard algorithm like that, I would have two layers I need to align. 
but if I move the bottom instead, then the top stays where it is, and I just have one move to do. So that's a little trick for that. Now for this next one, I have a pretty easy cube shape. I have uh, these two together, these two together, and this set of four. And so if I move these, I can pair up those. So now, now I have two sets of four, and that's just a simple cube shape. Um, now I have this corner and that corner, so I hold them like this, or, yeah, like that. And then I slice to make the blocks, and then pair up the, pair up the bars like that. And now I have, um, two adjacent and two adjacent that I need to switch around like that. Um, so now I see on the top, I have, uh, the edges are, like, completely cycled like it's an O cycle and that's not something that shows up on 3x3 so now I have no I have parity on top and on the bottom it's like an aperm but except these two edges are switched and so I know that I have parity on bottom as well um, so I don't actually have to do a parity algorithm um, and this it doesn't matter how I how I uh, start my first slice because there's always gonna be a block that's gonna be preserved so I'll just do the, the easier one like that and so now, on the, uh, so now on the bottom I have um, an opposite flip, and on the top I have an O. And this is actually a really cool case. If you have opposite on bottom and an O on top, you can um, do that. And I'll put that algorithm in the description. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, of course. Yeah, so I'll just show that algorithm one more time. Uh, this is going the opposite direction. If I have opposite and bottom, I hold it so that it's front and back like that. And on top of the O, I see it's going that way. And so if I do one slash, negative one, negative one slash, now I have uh, that one on the bottom, the blue. And now if I bring um, the blue corners up like that, if I slice again, it'll pair up with that. So that's how the algorithm works, is it just cycles them around. Um, so that's cool. So I'll put that and its inverse in the description. Okay, um, for this last scramble, I have uh, the shield on top and these three paired up on the bottom. And so I would probably do that so that when I slice, I can pair those up with these two. And so now, if I adjust again, I can slice and get this case and solve that. Um, next, I see I have these two. And if it's like this, where you have a corner attached to an edge on both, and it's like this, the edges are both there, you can, uh, instead of doing the standard algorithm out there, instead of doing the standard algorithm like that, and having these two to match up, you can slice and then do negative one, two, and it'll preserve all of the edges. And so it's just, you don't have to go back and slice it again. It's just a little, little things like that, just that save you moves. Um, so now on top I have the, what's like an aperm, but it's a bar instead of just two headlights, or not headlights, but you know what I mean. Um, so now I have parity on top, and on the bottom it's like an end perm, but only half of it's there, and the other isn't. And so now I have parity there too. And um, so with the adjacent on top and the opposite on bottom, the standard algorithm is just to slice through like that. Um, that would give me a kind of nasty cube shape, or not cube shape, uh, EP, with the adjacent and then the whatever. Um, but if I undo that, and now if I offset by one, I can preserve these two blocks. And so if I do the exact same algorithm, um, now I have these adjacent adjacent, which is a lot nicer than the other case. Um, so those are the square one walkthroughs I have for you today. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave them down in the comment section below. So thank you for watching.